Hey guys, so in this video, I'll show you guys how to update the firmware for the Behringer XR XR12. And this should also apply to the XR16 series, or maybe even XR18 series, or the X18. Um, it should all be very similar in terms of um, how the firmware is updated. So first thing first, you have to make sure, you know, the power is connected and it's best to update or I think the only way to update is actually through a Ethernet connection. So I have my mixer, digital mixer connected to my wireless router while I have a wired connection also coming in to my PC over here. So, um, and on your PC, you have to make sure you have the XR Edit software installed or downloaded. It's a executable file. So once you unzip it, you can just open the, uh, the file directly. And you also have to make sure to download the newest firmware for your mixer. In this case, for mine, it's version 1.13 and it's um, just being published, I think uh, a couple of weeks ago. So it's a newest version. So, okay, let's open the XR Edit. And as you can see, once you have the application opened, it will tell you it's not connected. So what you're gonna do is you actually have to go to the setup. And over here, the setup is open. Uh, hopefully, once you have the mixer connected to your wireless router or your gateway, you should be able to see it over here in the list. So once you see it, you click it and you click connect. And now it's asking you if you want to synchronize the settings from the mixer to PC or PC to mixer. Uh, in this case, since I just opened, uh, I've already opened the mixer and updated it once. So you can see the firmware is already updated, but I'll show you guys again how it is updated. And by the way, this uh, there is some text display problems, and I think it's, it's, it's from the software design. And they haven't updated the software in over a year, so hopefully they have a chance to update the software, fix some bugs, and uh, hopefully fix the text problem. But in this case, it doesn't really matter. I guess it's best to go from PC to Mixer, because if you have if you have pre-made all the changes in your wireless LAN in LAN settings and access point, if you select a PC to Mixer, it will push those settings to the Mixer. So in this case, I already have the settings down, so the, 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 the setting on the mixer is correct, so I'm just gonna hit mixer to PC. But for you guys, you probably want to click PC to mixer, so all your setup settings could be synchronized to your mixer. But I'm gonna hit mixer to PC, so it's gonna try to synchronize. And now you can see it actually says it's connected, okay? So at this point, to update firmware, it's very easy. So you can see, over here there's our update firmware option. You click that and um, you should be able to see your firmware right over here setting nicely and you just click, click it and it should automatically update and you don't have to do anything and it doesn't have any prompts coming up. Basically it's just click and done. So right now you can see the light goes off, so it's actually just updated and restarted the mixer. And now I should be able to see my mixer very soon. So the system says it found the mixer, do I want to connect? I hit yes. And in this case, I'm just going to cancel the synchronization because it's already synchronized. And, uh, and it's done. So you should have the current firmware display over here. And this is a version of the software, so it have nothing to do with the firmware. but. This is how you update the firmware on the Behringer XR XR12. And I hope this video is helpful. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know. And I'll try my best to answer for you guys. Thank you so much. Take care.